It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see teams... Set for football now at AT&T Stadium. Brandon Aubrey has the honors, and we are underway here in Arlington. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Well, the Lions offense getting ready to go to work here and under center, a man whose career has been rejuvenated a bit as of late. In season number eight now out of Cal, it's Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. Now the former Bear, this is David Montgomery. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. So from the 26-yard line, here's second and five. Here's Goff. He'll find his rookie tight end, Sam Laporta. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Goff now looking to throw. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now a second and two. Play action. It's Goff. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. Seven yards there and a first down. From the 50, it's Goff. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master surgeon at work. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Not the desired outcome, but probably won't be the last time we see him take a shot downfield. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. From the gun, here's Goff. That one too wide and incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. Now they're coming up on play number eight of this opening drive, but they're looking at a third and long. Throwing again is gone. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, 
you at least put in the defenders' minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds. And they'll spot it right at the 20. So the Cowboys ready to go on offense for the first time. And it is their now 30-year-old quarterback, Dak Prescott, who leads the way. It's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 20. A pro bowler for the first time in 2022. Here's Tony Pollard. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense. And that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment. No one in the wrong spot. Everyone filling their gaps. From the 22, here's second and eight. Now Prescott. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Oh, boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because, like, like him, it's going to haunt my dreams, too. He was wide open. How did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively, just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. On third down, it's Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Prescott looks to throw on first. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short gain. On second down, it's Pollard. Shifts past him at the 45. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Here's a second and five. Prescott now. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And he's down into the red zone at the 16 after a gain of 16, first and 10. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Now second and five. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Luke Schoonmaker 
An 11 yard touchdown. And the Cowboys put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. And that's exactly why you want to drop those types of plays because coverage is just going to go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. But if you work your tight end into it, that's a tough one for a defense to handle. Tough. They couldn't handle it. It worked out for six. Aubrey good with a PAT. And it's now a 7-0 game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They'll go with a rookie from Alabama. It's Jameer Gibbs. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for, a really good change of pace back. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To throw is gone. shot in there. It's out of bounds incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. You don't see that a ton, do you, with a cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle? That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery, and he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. And, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so and whether it's the script whether it's you know just what they're going through whether they're seeing different defenses they're gonna have to figure it out as this game moves on so the drive's gonna start with Pollard and he'll be brought down here at the 28. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. Second down and three. As they've got it as we resume action. They go back to Pollard on second down. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. 
I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here now, third and a yard. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. 41 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. And that is not what you expect from a receiver of his caliber. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself. You don't look it in, and all of a sudden it's on the ground. A surprise to all. Throwing again. Prescott on second and ten. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing, Prescott. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Well, that's how you convert on third down with an explosive gain of 34. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. To the air again, Prescott. That's caught once again by Gallup. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. To throw his press gun. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Tony Pollard taking it in from two yards out. And the Cowboys have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away.
And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. And still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here now, second and four. Goff now to throw. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now gone. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. St. Brown motioning left. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Jonathan Hankins in on the stop. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. There's Goff. His throw incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught, they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Throwing on third, Goff. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Saw the linebacker, Damone Clark, coming through with a stop. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Back to Montgomery on second down. They follow up the first down one-yard run with a minimal gain of two. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he's gonna have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 27 yard line. A big third down pickup of 20 yards. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Gone. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Four 
Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. To throw on second down is Goff. Throw over the middle, he finds Williams. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 12-yard line. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. To the air again, Goff. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Jared Goff to Amon Ross St. Brown. And the Lions are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed, and a lot of football, full half to be played. Patterson back out there to send this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Tony Pollard and his Dallas teammates ready again on offense. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who have been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys <laughs> on the other side of the football, and they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellas. Not an easy thing for them to do. A first down throw for Prescott. Out of his hands quickly to CeeDee Lamb. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half for running back Tony Pollard. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. One touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. 
And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Second down and six now. Option play, here's Pollard. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Third and three. Looking to throw, Prescott. That's dumped off to Pollard. And he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. Always important as a defender on third down to keep the play in front of you and make sure you don't give up enough space that they can make a move on you in the open field. Try as he might, he wasn't able to get to the first down marker. Excellent defense, good tackling. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. And that one came close to hitting the big scoreboard up there as the fair catch is made inside the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Lions will take over. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Here's third and three. A shotgun snap for Goff. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Play action, it's gone. It's caught inside the 25. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That one goes for 36 yards. Uh, that's the kind of play this offense desperately needed. They've got to be saying, our defense has kept us in the ball game. We're down, but we're certainly not out. And maybe that was the spark that they've been searching for. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Off play action. Here's Goff. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Now a second and ten. Goff now looks to throw, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game. But after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. 
This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Golf. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. On fourth down, Goff to the sidelines, and Detroit has Riley Patterson out there for the field goal. Patterson's kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know, there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no wind, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now? Is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 right at the 30. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Second down, Pollard again. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And he will finally be wrestled down at the Lions' 16-yard line. 113 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. And a guy that can change the game shows you a glimpse of it right there, taking the ball down inside the red zone. It just tells you how tough it is for a defense. You just hold on all game and essentially hold your breath. Will they break a big one on us at any point during the game? It just happened right there. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They toss it down to Pollard. Dances by him. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Tackle there by Alex Anzalone. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. A second down throw for Prescott. And he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. On third and one, here's Prescott. The quick slant caught it. Touchdown, Cowboys! Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. Aubrey good with a PAT. And that makes it a 21-10 game.
So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Detroit's offense ready to take over. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. Here's gone. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Now he dumps this off over the middle, and he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way, and really we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Goff now looking to throw. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on to kick it away. And a fair catch call for him made just inside the 35-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Prescott's throw there caught by Gallup. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose, and boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Throwing, Prescott. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And Lamb gonna have a Cowboys first down as he's up to the 47. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys with the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. Pollard gets it off the option. And just shedding him off there. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 131 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Now Prescott. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. 
and he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Here's Brian Anger now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that. He's got a man complete. He's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. Jamison Williams, 60 yards. And the Lions have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this, and I know you are too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Goff looking to throw. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets him back within a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Patterson back out there to send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Prescott to throw it. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. 
Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and just, they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw pulled in by Lamb. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it'll be second down. Prescott. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Oh, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. On third down, it's Prescott. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Jack Campbell with a pick. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. This game, it's been defensively oriented on both sides. So I guess it stands to reason that the play of the game comes on defense. So it's my kind of game. You know that. That's Anytime right. we have that's a defensive right. battle. But that, as you said, it stands to reason that's the way the game tilted. Someone had to make a big play. And the way the defenses were dominating, that's exactly what we got. Extra point try now for Patterson. And that will make this a four-point game. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Cavante Turpin now from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And they have to try and move past that pick six because now they're dealing with a fourth quarter deficit. And they need this drive to end in points. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll start this drive out on the ground and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Prescott now over the middle hauled in by Lamb so eight yards on the completion there and this will wind up being a third and three coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first On third down, it's Pollard, and he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. I was used to joke with my teammates who carried the ball a lot. When we got in these situations and they were carrying us home, I used to tell them, boy, you guys just look like Paul Bunyan, just growing stronger, bigger, tougher, <laughs> and all night long, he's carried this team. He has indeed. Everything magnified right now, a huge third down conversion. Uh, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. 
That'll give them eight that time, and they'll be left with second in a couple. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there, freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. They run straight ahead here with Pollard, and he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Meanwhile, Dax throw, take it in there by Cooks. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second and four. Now Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. Seven yards there and a first down. Now that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick... Don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Second and six coming up. Now Prescott. Throw complete right side to Cooks. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. A big play looming on third down. Here's Dak. touchdown grab and the Cowboys answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead and touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them right way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating yeah, part one is done but now on the sideline you can already see them scrambling down there they're getting those defensive guys ready yes you have to get those guys ready and you also have to talk to your special teams guys make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages. up with Williams here on the out route. Well, Charles, I know you have a lot of questions. So do I about the decision there at the end. They had the potential game time field goal. Yes, it would have been a long field goal, but they passed it up and they lose the game. And you're right, partner. We all have questions, but I don't think anyone's going to ask the question more forcefully than the person who signs the checks for the entire organization. Why didn't you run the field goal kicker out there? You had a chance to tie the game. Looked like a makeable kick. Was the kicker hurt? Did you just not like the field conditions? This head coach is going to have to have a heck of an explanation.
That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.